how do we raise socially and politically conscious children and why is it so important today? Welcome back to As We Speak, guys. So this year, in a revolutionary turning point, the powerful game changers at the World Economic Forum, nestled in the snow-capped retreat of Switzerland, Davos, invited some 10 teenage change makers to their predominantly 60 plus billionaire male Caucasian retreat. The youngest of these change makers is African-American Naomi Walder, an anti-gun and social justice activist from America. And she's only 13 years old. With our future generations at the tip of exponential change amidst such chaotic crises, it really begs the question, how do we raise children who can really impact their own future for the better? Here are some of my top tips. As soon as possible, explain to them how important it is to cast a vote. Explain to them that their vote matters. Now we're expats and this is difficult, but you know when we go to our embassies to exercise our votes, we should take them with us or at least tell them what's happening in their home countries. Celebrate the best of every international festival irrespective of what your beliefs are. Because at the end of the day, the point is the same, to bring people and communities together. Talk to them about civic issues like education, like healthcare, things that they can relate to, climate change. These are great dinner table conversations. That's how they're gonna start forming opinions from a young age. We live in the age of social media where they are exposed to everything and we can't shelter them. So the best thing to do is talk to them about the news, expose them to the news, of course, with your guidance and as long as the news is age appropriate, they will develop and learn to become conscious of what's happening in the world around them. Use world events as learning opportunities. We've had lots of conversations about Australia and then I've also given my children the Greta Thunberg book to read uh, and it's made for great uh, conversation and they've learned so much. Stand up for your kids guys, especially when it matters. I know there are points where we have to let them be but when we know they really need us, uh, if it's a really tricky situation at school with peers or even with teachers, be the one to stand up for them and believe in them because that's how they will believe in themselves. Explain to them that change doesn't happen by simply complaining. You gotta get out there, get on the sidelines and do something. The biggest change makers have been the best orators. So make sure you expose your kids to public speaking or debating. And if they're shy, even to just voice something that they feel like at home and you can be an audience or the family can be an audience and respect whatever it is that they come out with because that's the power of their own voice. Correct your biases, especially when you talk to your children and especially when it relates to gender. It also goes for the mums. Make them part of the conversation and explain to them that two perfectly good people can have very different opinions. It's okay to agree to disagree because that's actually when growth and change happens. So guys, the refreshing thing is now you're never too young to make an impact. Uh, whether it's lemonade stands to raise money for the Australian fires or big marches for women or climate change in huge capitals all around the world. The young people are doing such amazing things and they're making such amazing things happen. So it's really up to us to really stand by them, stand by their beliefs and just guide them along the way. Um, it's not easy because especially tweens and teens, you know, they want to watch their TV series and, you know, uh, it, it's quite a selfish time as well, but peppering in a little bit of this kind of conversation will only help them to make their future a better place. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was actionable. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.